Weatherbug.com, meteorologist Addison Green here with your latest forecast update. And we are having a wide variety of weather out there. Stormy weather impacting the East Coast, all the way from the New England area down to the Southeast. The Midwest getting some cool relief, some drier conditions, but unfortunately some scattered showers are coming your way. And we have no rain in sight in the Southwest, just a lot of sunshine and a lot of heat. In fact, it's just dangerously hot in the Southwest. It was pretty dangerous to be across the Plain States yesterday. This is from Pratt County in Kansas. A dust cloud moving on and got a gusty wind. Wind reports of 60, 70, 90 miles per hour across portions of Kansas, including some rather large hailstones. We can see all the hail reports indicated by the green dots right here. Even some active weather was to be found up across the Great Lakes and down in towards the southeast. In terms of storms right now going on the morning hours, well, not a whole lot. Just this cluster of showers still hanging on as it travels across the Mississippi River in towards western Tennessee. And we did have that little area of low pressure spiraling up towards the northeast, bringing some heavy rains across the area. There's more rain and storms on the way. Meanwhile, we're across the upper Midwest, just some clouds and some scattered showers lingering across Lake Superior. And I have a big ridge building up here in the southwest. A lot of heat and a lot of sunshine coming your way in that direction. So that's why that area not going to be seeing a whole lot of activity. But here across the southeast in towards the east coast, as well as in towards the Ohio River Valley, we could be talking about some showers and storms. The threat zone for today is this big yellow highlighted area includes some big cities, Boston, D.C., New York, Atlanta, and in towards Little Rock. That's where we have the highest amounts of rain over across that area. And here's the heat concerns in the southwest. A lot of areas under some kind of a heat warning, especially when you have temperatures in the triple digits. Well, stay tuned right here at weatherbug.com for more as we continue to track the headlines across the country.